Hey everybody, it's Craig back to here, and in this video we're going to have a quick look at some 4K footage shot on the Panasonic GH5 with the Panasonic 12-35 f2.82. All right, let's get started. All right, so all of these clips are shot in 4K at 29.97 using the natural color profile with a few adjustments. Minus two on the contrast, minus one on the saturation, and minus five on both the noise reduction and sharpness. If I could shoot this again, I'd probably go with minus one on the contrast and zero on the saturation. I was really happy with the footage coming right out of the camera. And for YouTube, it's great. I don't have to do a lot of color grading. Depends on the type of shooter you are. Now, all of these clips shot outdoors were shot at 5600 Kelvin because I didn't want any variations in the auto white balance. Also, I manually focused all of these shots. Now, some of these shots are handheld with just the camera and the Panasonic lens with image stabilization both on the body and the lens. And some of these are using the Xeon crane. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now if you haven't, because I'm going to be coming out with future videos on the Xeon crane, as well as some lens comparisons, the Panasonic 12-35 against the Sigma 18 to 35. So go ahead and subscribe right now and you'll get email updates when I come out with those videos. So you can see the color is really rich, the detail is sharp, and this is right out of camera without any color grading. So here's some color grading right here. And what I've done is I've added some blue to the shadows and a little bit of contrast. Now, one thing I noticed was the color saturation really differs with the time of day. Now this clip here, I'm gonna drop out the color grading. So watch the blue in the water. You can see it just sort of a little bit less contrast. I'm gonna pop it on. So it enhances the blues, adds a little more contrast. I dropped it off, dropping it back on again. So just subtle color grading really brings out those blues. And like I said, the time of day really affected the saturation, which didn't really surprise me, but I thought that was interesting. So if you're shooting outdoors, make sure you're conscious of the time of day. A golden hour is obviously a great time. Like I said, I shot all these clips at 5,600. If it was auto white balance, it might've differed slightly, but look at the yellows and look at the blues. And you know, some people have complained about dynamic range. I shot between maybe 200 and 600 ISO and I was pretty happy with it overall. So before you go, make sure you click on subscribe. If you haven't already, I'm gonna be coming up with future videos on the GH5. So go ahead, click subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.